Hey, I hope you're doing well. Quick example for you today from my most recent student that I just worked with. Uh, let me show you, every time I work with a, a student, um, I've hidden her personal information here. Every time I work with a student, we have them send in a form and answer questions about their, their game, their level, their experience, kind of what they're looking to accomplish, what they want to work on. So you'll notice that for this particular student on their incoming coaching form, a bunch of stuff is highlighted. And I've, I've just kind of gotten into the habit of, of doing this now. When I have a student coming in and I, I sit down before we do our session, I read through their goals, what strokes they want to work on, what skills they would like to learn, so on and so forth. I've gotten in the habit of starting to notice a particular pattern that links to a particular skill. See if you can, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go ahead and read the highlighted sections. See if you can figure out by the time I get done, what is the skill that I have in mind? I'm like, okay, we're probably gonna be working on X, Y, or Z. So here, check this out. So in talking about her forehand, move into the ball consistently with greater balance and stance. On her backhand, moving into the ball with more athletic stance. Stroke or strategy, a mental between shots, would like to be able to anticipate better. So a goal here of anticipate better where uh, the next shot is likely to go in order to get there. Then a little bit further down on the overhead, deer in headlights, kind of paralysis during a match when a deeper overhead is hit. And then we have uh, mental between shots, how to keep my feet moving during a match and then also a goal here not to become a spectator and identify strategies to keep my feet moving and alert to the ball that might come my way and then a couple other details down here and she wrote more quickly identify the best shot for an incoming ball so have you figured it out what is the thing that links all of these different things now notice she identified uh, identification here and this is under mental, kind of, she's looking for a strategy about footwork. So she, she talked about identification or anticipation, then footwork. And then we're, we're talking about overhead recognition. Then we're talking about uh, anticipation again. Then we're talking about backhand ground stroke. Then we're talking about forehand ground stroke. What is the thing in tennis that connects all, like all of these parts of her game, basically her entire game? There's not a whole lot. Okay, so her serve like wasn't related. Uh, her volley specifically, it is connected, but she didn't specifically call anything out on her volley. But most of her game that she talked about, there was a, a connection point here. And that connection point is the split step. <laughs> the split step is linked and connected. Like You, you can't remove it from all of these different skills and abilities and strokes and tools and uh, keeping the feet moving, like footwork and anticipation and reading the ball and positioning and all, it's all linked to the split step. Not the actual like hoppy like move or like, oh, I got a bounce or whatever. No, it's about the eyes and the feet and the, their link together. What is your brain processing? What is it focusing on? What is it looking at on the other side of the court and when? And this was the thing that she didn't get. This is like an unbelievably focused, motivated, intense player. She came from Canada, spent two full days with me. It has nothing to do with, and she partially, part of the time was split stepping. But it was only like 5 or 10% of the time. And what she was missing was a link to her eyes and what she was focusing on. She understood the nuts and bolts of A, I should be split stepping, and B, it kind of should look like this, and C, like here's the purpose and it's important. So, you know, I'm gonna make an effort. And she like she got those things and she was doing those things, but she didn't understand the link and the connection to the eyes and the focus and the visual intent and the link there between that and reading where the ball is going and anticipating what shot is coming next and being able to be balanced and prepared and be in a good position to the ball and be able to know when I'm going to be involved in the point instead of being a spectator and watching and waiting and all, boom, 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 boom. It's, it's linked to all those things. And the, the more that I coach, whether it be a, a strategy clinic or whether it be technical, like a more technique focused session like this, I put, put those in air quotes because 
they all are connected. It's all connected to the split step. And I've gotten in the habit now, when I receive these forms, A, I know that most of my students, even though the people who come and work with me are unbelievably passionate and driven and focused. And so I know that if anybody is likely to split step, it's probably going to be somebody that I work with who goes to the trouble of uh, coming to work with me. But even with those players, I've gotten in the habit of looking for the signs and the signals of, well, there's not as, like, I know, I'm already mentally just kind of preparing, okay, I need to make sure we work on this. Probably first, it's probably going to be the very first thing we talk about because it links so many different other elements. And I've talked about it so many times and I've, I've made so many videos about it. Um, and I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not under some kind of delusion that like everybody watches my videos and is going to buy in and immediately do, oh, because Ian said it, so I better take it seriously. And now I'm going to definitely do it because Ian told me to do it. I got, it's not like I'm thinking like that because I know that's not real life and that's not, my ego isn't nearly that big, but it's just incredible to me that I I just see this pattern of like, I talk about it. I emphasize it. I, I, I really like try to nail home how critical it is. And then student after student after student that watches my stuff and, and, you know, appreciates what I do comes in and they, they just don't do it. Anyway, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep making the videos. I'm going to keep like giving as many examples and as many like kind of tangible connection points as I can, uh, because this is everything. This is everything guys. Like it, it connects everything together. And it's so critical, your technique, your tactics, your strategy, it's all linked together by the split step. So we have tons of resources on it for free on YouTube, some great resources in Academy, and just do it, man, just do it. If you wanna be the best player possible, it's so, so, so important. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, hopefully you appreciated this example. I'll keep talking about it, and uh, hopefully you keep on working on it and we'll, we'll keep getting better together. Keep up the good work. I'll talk to you again soon.